my semi group in Norway, but there are semi groups located in Sweden, Russia, and Finland. The population for semi in Norway is approximately 50,000. What makes semi unique is their religion. They believe that inanimate objects like trees have souls. A shaman or priest called a Nuadi acts as an intermediary on the material and spiritual world. What makes semi different from us is how they speak their language, dress differently, and live differently than us. Sami carve tools and utensils from wood, bone, reindeer antlers, and silver, and sometimes with geometric motives. They also do a good amount of ribbon weaving. A great amount of chores purchase their popular crafts, but Sami save a lot of their handmade objects for their own use. These kind of cases were made for keeping big items like a house full of utensils. Most people use it as a decoration in their home and to keep important things inside. These two are completely made out of reindeer horn, which makes it unbreakable close the lid. You also need strong pressure in order to open it. A lot of their creative skill goes into the costumes braided really decoration. The two knives on the left are made from leather and horn called sheet knives. The other knives except for the blade are made out of horn. The blade is made from forged diamond. The song still that is traditional for Sami people is originally called Chaji many ways of Sami singing. Yoik is about a soul or spirit of the subject, not about a human being or a place. The song mode is very personal and touches Sami souls. The bow roar is an instrument the Sami and other native cultures use as an instrument. Basically, it's a shaped part of wood or horn that is attached to a string. You create the sound by swinging it around in a circular motion over the head. They also invented their small reed pipe. Sami had borrowed the idea of art from the European cultures in the last century. Some of the art has been developed from patterns and ideas from the Sami culture, where they use charcoal and paper or oil color on canvas, so it's not an imitation. Their hobbies consist of playing sports like competing with each other and realizing the artists at the exact same spot. One of the most common sports they play are the Ring of John Slime Ring at the Easter Festival. They also make popular crafts that many choice churches. They also do action concerts like sled racing and lasso boat. They also do entertainment such as storytelling and yoik singing. There is a traditional board game you rarely played anymore called Tableau, which has a character playing as the wolf or the fox, and the other character as the hunter. The players move their pieces everywhere on the board along with the hunter trying to block off the enemy before he or she eats the hunter's pieces. The Sami's pastime is reindeer herding, fishing, hiking trials, and skiing. There are many natural parks in the Sami country where there are many hiking trails, and you can choose what difficulty level and life you prefer. The most well-known rivers in the Sami country for fishing are the Anna Shoman Miss Picture and Tender Rivers. It's necessary to have a fishing license when fishing in land because the fish can be caught with flies and lures, and the fishing rod with a reel is the necessary fishing instrument. In the Sami country, there's plenty of winter and snow, which makes the place a perfect area for skiing. Cave drawings show that the Sami made skiing, which they used a long time ago with using just one pole. It's part of their daily life. Sami are interested in hunting, which do every day in order to have food. The musical tradition for Sami is singing a song called Yoik, or as originally called Joigin. It has words that have been created without preparation, but the musical element is the main focus. It resembles the practice of melodizing the feeling or emotion of a Native American. There aren't any collection of Yoiks at all because they are so single and private. A Sami's yoik is shared only for a close circle with family and friends. It's only described by researchers as the most ancient Europe musical tradition. There is a song where the Sami dance with called Les Tonares de Brest, which is going to play after this. <laughs> The 
we celebrate the major holidays of the Christian calendar. Like for every Easter, which is in late March or early April, they have a big festival that is located at Kalfukeino in northern Norway, where there are semi-entertainments, old sled racing, and yoke singing. For many couples, they choose this holiday for their wedding. In December 24th for Christmas Eve, the special Monday trees are decorated with candles, gold and silver ribbons, and many other decorations. The festive meal that consists ham, salmon, vegetables, and rice pudding is eaten after the readings of the gospel is done being read. On December 26th, Sammy celebrate Boxing Day where they have sled rides, lasso throwing, and other traditional semi games and activities. Non religious holidays contain the big spring celebration celebrated by the Sammy each year where occasionally they wear their great clothes in the summer with friends to mark the final of winter. Their attires are more recognizable by the particular bands of bright red along with yellow patterns against the deep blue backgrounds of wool or felt, which are the colors of the Sammy's flag. They appear as ornaments on the men's tunics, originally called cactis and as borders attached on the skirts for women and as well as on the hats for female and male. Some of the men's hats are cone shaped and others have four corners like the one that is shown in this picture. Women and girls wear a fridge scarf around their shoulders. Both men and women also wear reindeer skin coats that are warm. Sammy also wears shoes that are moccasins made out of reindeer skin with turned on toes that are fastened with ribbons. You don't wear socks with them, but instead they stuff them with faint sedge grass so it can protect your feet against dampness and the cold. The traditional costume called gaki or cult is worn in weddings, funerals, religious festivals, but also worn while everyday work. People use leather, sinews, and wool, which are the most common material used in order to make a gakdi, but it's often made with silk and velvet. The design, color, pattern, and jewelry on the gakdi has a deep meaning. Someone could tell if the certain sami that is wearing it is married and where from the sami is by wearing it. For men that wear it is shorter than the gakdi women wear. It can be worn with a decorative belt, silver jewelry, a silk scarf, and traditional leather boots. You can tell if the Sammy is married or single by the buttons attached on the belt. The square buttons mean that the certain Sammy is married and the round buttons mean if the Sammy is single. It's believed that the Sammy man that is diverse continues to wear the gakdi that his ex-wife has made for him still loves her. The occupation of mining and logging companies, hydroelectric power projects, communication networks, tourism, and threatened by pollution, are affecting the homelands of the Sami. A disagreement debate that received unique attention was the building of Alta Hydroelectric Dam in Ireland that has flooded reindeer grasslands, which is important to region Sami herders. A team of Sami protesters went to the capital city of Oslo, where they set up tents, which Sami call lavos, in front of the Norwegian Congress and started a hunger strike. The movement caused worldwide attention, but their attempts were unsuccessful. The National Association of the Norwegian Sami have been working vigorously for Sami political rights and improvements in cultural, economic, and social conditions since 1968. The Sami were also affected by the 1986 nuclear accident that occurred in Chernobyl in Ukraine, pollute some of their feeding areas, causing the reindeer potentially unsafe for them to market and eat themselves. The affected areas where there were fish, berries, and drinking water were poisoned too. The Sami have another problem where the large amount of tourists come from the south who consume important resources for the Sami like game birds, fish, and berries without really bringing a lot of money into the group. Minority Rights Group International is an organization that can help the Sami based on their problems. MGRI has over 130 partners over 60 countries to help indigenous peoples voice be heard, which the Sami need now because of their protests in Oslo. They will help them to maintain their rights on the land they live on and the language to speak for a lack of opportunities in education and employment. They have over 40 years of experience of working with linguistic and religious communities to work on the issues they are
are having 